pressure of economy, especially here in the UK. We know the pressure of going to work. We know the pressure of bringing up children. God is aware of all of them. However, no matter your circumstance, it's not an excuse to depart from the fine purpose God made you to come together. So it's not an excuse. If you give it as an excuse, it can cause you and your spouse to drift apart. You are living in the same house, but you are thinking differently. You are chasing different purposes. It becomes about you, myself, and I. It becomes about it's no longer both of you. So why do that happen? The Lord spoke to my heart that one of the greatest reasons, I'm not talking to unbeliever here. I'm not talking to unbelievers. But if you're an unbeliever, you hear this message. I pray that it blesses you. But I'm talking about believers, sanctified believers, speaking in tongue believers. You know, people can be speaking in tongue and they're out of tone with the Holy Ghost. Because right now it has become part of them. You have the, you notice some people wants to open their mouth, blah, 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 speaking as if it's a competition. It is part of their life. They have mastered it, but there's no power behind the, the tongue they are speaking. Such people depart from the Holy Ghost. There are, there are some people who get so easily offended because there's no power of the Holy Ghost again. They get easily, they can fight, they can quarrel, they can keep malice with their spouses for a long time. Meanwhile, they are speaking in tongue in the house. You know, so at times you see some men decide, or even a woman say, look, if this is it, I'm not going to church with him again. How can he be speaking in tongue 